Hello everybody, my name is John Parkinson and welcome back to the uh, WordPress Community Interview Series. I am very fortunate uh, to have with us today uh, Tammy Lister. Uh, Tammy, why don't you take a, a, a few moments and tell us about yourself. Hi, uh, pleasure to be here. Uh, my name is Tammy, as you said. Uh, I work at Automatic and I work on the theme team and I focus on UX within that team. Uh, as far as .org goes, I contribute in several different ways um, through word camps, uh, speaking at word camps as well, and also through the theme review and the design team. And also I work on core themes. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. And uh, you were one of the organizers of WordCamp uh, Brighton, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Um, it was the first ever WordCamp Brighton, and it was just a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah. yeah. And how did everything go there? Went really well. Uh, we're a very small community. We've actually been established for a while, but we've always been quite small. Uh, for our meetups and it was kind of amazing to suddenly have um, I think we had 160 ish people wow. in the end to actually have them there we had a single track conference uh, it was just one day but we also had a contribution day uh, it was actually the second contribution day ever for WordCamp uh, for well Brighton not just WordCamp Brighton uh, because we actually had a contribution day without a WordCamp um, it was a different way of doing it. it. It just was something we uh, we have a very strong buddy press and theme review community, so it was something that the community wanted. Oh, great. Uh, so this was good. We had a lot of different. We had some workshops, and it was. I was really thrilled. We had really nice weather, and it was a really nice atmosphere. So. Oh, great. Fantastic. And having 160 for your first uh, word camp, uh, yeah. that, that's a very nice turnout for, for that. It was, and we had a lot of support. We had people buying tickets that didn't even come, which is kind of one of the cool bits about this community, that they just kind of bought tickets to support the community as well. Yeah, so. great, great. And you are on the uh, theme review team, but also yeah. the design team. Yeah. Um, could you tell us a little bit about each of those um, and, and okay. what, what goes on uh, with uh, theme review and design? Okay, so theme review is basically any theme that goes on to WordPress.org has to have a theme review. And at the moment, um, that's a human has to look through the code. Um, there's a certain number of checks that we do. Uh, currently, the team is going through a little bit of a change of process and is trying to look at more and more ways to automate. So actually, uh, you know, a few months ago, I'd have been saying, if you want to get involved, get involved with theme reviews, and that's how you can do. But now there's a wide range of opportunity. You could get involved with helping us with our tools. You could also get involved with helping with documentation. Uh, and there is a weekly meeting uh, every Tuesday. I cannot for the life remember the time again. But if you go to make.wordpress.org forward slash themes, then the time is there. Great, great. And I was going to ask you where the uh, uh, the team uh, P2 page was located, so I'm, I'm yeah. glad you mentioned that. <laughs> and then the design team, uh, is this uh, uh, your members designing themes for WordPress.org? So the design team is not specifically about themes. Uh, the design team works very closely with Core, and that encompasses anything, um, kind of UI, UX, and everything in between is the yeah, best way to yeah. describe that. And so that meeting is on Thursdays uh, in the Slack channel. It's again, it's make um, for make WordPress.org forward slash design for that one. Okay. Um, and it's kind of a mixture of particular tickets will flag a UI or UX feedback and then people can kind of get involved in that. There's also UI focus. And under that kind of banner of design covers an awful lot. So other teams may want to help. Uh, that's a team that really, really needs people to get involved and is a really good way to get involved as well. Sometimes it's hard for a designer to maybe go into the other teams and find themselves lost within the other teams or find themselves not able to kind of have the similar kind of structure with other designers so it's a way that you can do that there's we have a mixture of people from people that are ux through just cs css and all that kind of in between the big world as far as the making of themes which includes the default themes that's the core themes mm -hmm. team which loosely comes under kind of the core in that sense um and that generally happens the last cycle of every year, um, which is 2017, will be coming up. And that's a focused effort by whoever leads it. I did 
last year I worked in conjunction with Takashi to do it um, and then everyone comes and supports that but that tends to just be kind of gardening out of that season um, there's always tickets to do but it's not kind of the big flurry of that that kind of the the last release of the year ten, is generally the big flurry for the core themes okay great and I imagine if somebody wanted to get involved in the theme review or the design team uh, they could go to the uh, contact uh, link on each of those uh... yeah there's, there's just get involved tab in the handbooks on most uh, in fact both of those I think um, I definitely know there is one on theme review I'd have to check on the design one uh, also a good way is just coming along to the meetings the meetings are a great way if you go to those pages there's a big box at the top or it's very visible maybe in the sidebar um, on some of those sites throughout the make universe when the meeting is and whilst the meeting will be quite structured generally there will be kind of meeting notes and this is what we're going to talk about there's normally an open floor at the end and that's a great way for someone to just say hi i'm new um i'd like to get involved what can i get in and it's a good way to just see the kind of lay of the land so you get to see what tickets need to be done um in design we frequently get people saying okay well this ticket needs attention and we maybe discuss that within the chat and that's a great way that people can kind of get involved in that and see ways that they can add to that conversation absolutely fantastic and um, um, give me your thoughts on um, uh, WordPress TV and some of the information that is available through that uh, uh, website so I think WordPress TV is a great resource uh, it's a great resource for lots of different types of people as well. So it's a great resource for users. And when I was freelance, I quite often pointed to some of the tutorials and some of the explanations of that before I worked at Automatic. Um, it does it way better than I could have done some tutorial videos. Um, so there were some amazing talks on there. It also works really well for the community to show other speakers and uh, to kind of raise the profile of people in the community and it also works really well for the speakers and we have a great community that can foster people up through and then they can use it to go and speak at other conferences it's actually something i've done uh, i speak at quite a few outside conferences or at least i have done been lucky enough to within the past couple of years oh. and a lot of that times they ask for past videos and we have these amazing resources of videos so it works kind of for both sides and i think it's a really valuable resource that that sometimes you don't realize is there i try and catch each month what's kind of going on there and a lot of times you can't get to word camps there's so many around the world and yeah. when we had word camp brighton there was i think montreal and boston and may, uh, there was like so many the same weekend yeah. and you just can't get to them all so i want to hear such and such a person's talk or I want to know about something it's a great way to just kind of have it on I have sometimes just have it on in the background whilst I'm kind of doing a bit of work so I can get up to date with different things oh great great and um, if you don't mind me asking I understand that you uh, in a, a week or so are going to be traveling uh, are you allowed to talk about that I am. I'm actually going to Taiwan to speak at a conference and we're speaking, um, I'm speaking with Davide and uh, who's also an automatician and we're actually speaking about how you can create a diverse community. Uh, so it's a great, uh, Automatic are actually sponsoring and it's a great way that we can start talking to different communities as well. So I'm really excited about talking not just about the .com side but also the .org side there. Oh great, great. Well I wish you uh, safe travels and uh, have fun. Thank you. Um, I don't believe that I have anything else at this time. Uh, is there anything that you would like to add? No, well, I guess I'd just like to say that pretty much in WordPress, there's a place for everybody. So I'd encourage people to try different areas and try the different hats of the community. Just because one doesn't suit you or you don't feel that there's a place for you, that cycle, there may be one somewhere else. I've had a very diverse journey um, through most not all, but quite a majority of different sections. Uh, and I have my kind of fingers in a lot of different sections still. And that's not a bad thing to do. We, we all have different skill sets and we all have different ways we can con contribute. And sometimes if you just contribute in the same place over and over again, because people are, we're volunteering time here, mm -hmm. it can become very repetitive. Um, I've also seen a lot of people get skills for, by contributing that then lead them to do different things with their life which I think is really exciting when that happens as oh, well. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, uh, I, like I said, I do appreciate your time. Uh, I hope you have a uh, fabulous time in uh, uh, Taiwan and uh, 
uh, you know, hopefully uh, we'll get to meet someday and uh, spend a few minutes uh, chatting in person. Hopefully I see you at the Paris Community Summit. Absolutely. I will try. Mm -hmm. Thank you so okay. much. Bye.